We back here with another reaction. I hate waking up because of how hard and painful it is being in this body now. Here we go. I teach theater, but I've been on medical leave for a while now because of how hard it is for me to get around at the size I'm at. I won't be able to clean it up. So I All push right. myself to let them do what they need. Hey, now clean that shit up for sure. But after that, I have to get to where I can rest as soon as possible. But in the morning, I have to get clean because the growth that's in between my legs, the lymphedema growth, it's got open sores that actually leak. It just shows how bad off my body is. Ugh. It looks like a big ass testicle. There isn't a moment where I'm not craving something to eat. Food is my relief and my comfort, and it's what I constantly want. Jesus Christ. Food is the only thing in the world that doesn't talk back unless it gives you acid reflux. Food isn't that good to the point where you gotta scarf that shit down every five seconds of the day, man. That nigga off that zany bar. But in junior high, when I was 13, that's when the bullying really started because of my weight. Because I got up to over 250 pounds by then. And nah, I you was in a two ways. Basketball because I like watching basketball. And I thought maybe I would be good at it. They made us try out in front of the whole school in the morning because what they, and people were laughing and pointing and the coach had to stop tryouts. And he yelled at them saying, at least he's down here trying. And you get upset, you reach for that ice cream, you know? And I can finish ice cream in like nobody's business. But things did get a little Isn't better toward the crazy. end of high school. It was theater that made me feel like I could be who I wanted to be. Damn, I nigga. still to this was probably one of the ones that helped get me through. It was around the same time when I found out my mom was diagnosed with cancer. Damn. And ironically, at that time, I was playing a cancer patient while my mom was going through the cancer treatment. So it, it allowed me to really deal with it in a, in a safe place. And by the time I graduated, I was around 450 pounds. But immediately after I graduated, I got a job at a high school in Longview. And that's where I met my wife, Amber. He would be a partner for me to keep focusing on my journey with. We just as big. No, no offense, but she says she gets physically ill. Bro, you're bigger than him. I physically was getting ill from watching him eat. He would Bro, do you see the irony in this? This is friendly fucking fire. He would eat an appetizer. We would have a dessert. He would eat my leftovers and it would make me just absolutely just disgusted. Is this real life? Like, is this real life? For three years, Nathan's health has not allowed us to come on, nigga. do those things that we enjoy. She's one of them, bro. Hey, I'm on this bitch, bro. Comment down below if I'm tripping. I don't think I am. I'm on this bitch, man. Toodles.